Hey everybody. How's everybody doing? Who's on? Say hey if you're on. <clears throat> okay, listen. I am determined to use this lace. We did the jean jacket and um, a shirt the other night. I deleted that video because those did not work. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> hey, Don. I'm going to show you uh, the jacket and the three shirts. And I was so disappointed. So disappointed in that. Hey, baby, how are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so what I have here is, now I tried, I tried this early this morning, and it worked. So I'm excited to um, show you guys. Now, the reason I think the lace did not work on the, um, on any of the garments is because it's so small and intricate. <laughs> you're funny um the lace is so small and tight and intricate that it needs to be like a looser lace with bigger holes in it to be able to um i guess go on the clothing i'm going to show them to you though but i deleted the video because i don't want people like <clears throat> trying it and not knowing it's not going to work but <clears throat> this is going to be so much fun. You're not going to believe how pretty this turns out. I just have to figure out how I want to do it. And I'll show you the one I did this morning. This is just a piece of wood. It's actually the side the side of a drawer out of a dresser. Hey Donna, how are you tonight? Okay, and what I did was I spray painted it both sides just so it's finished on the other side. I spray painted it Midnight Blue by Rust-Oleum. Because I, what I'm going to show you, I thought the darker the color, the better you're going to see the, um, the outcome. So what I'm going to do is pick out what I want on here. You're not going to believe what I'm using. You're not going to believe it. Not going to believe it. The uh, one I did earlier had a seahorse on it. This one, I want to try this um, sea fan right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it where I want it. Y'all can see that, right? Okay, and I'm going to take this small end and I'm going to flip it over. Okay, and what I have to do is I have to tape it. Because what we're going to use, it has to be... Um, tight on on here are y'all intrigued are you intrigued at least I tried this one first thanks Donna you're so sweet okay I'm not going to tape the other side because we're going to have to take this off quickly. So I'm just going to pull it tight. 
okay, and I'm going to flip it back over. Try to get it as tight as I can. Okay, so can you see that whole thing right there? Okay, so I know this is backwards and I apologize, but I will post pictures of this um, on my page so you can see exactly what it is because I would love for y'all to try this. But this, you can get this in a tub also. I just ch happen to choose the tube that I can squeeze it out. It is DAP Alex Plus Spackling. Okay, there's lots of types of spackling. Um, this one is white, which is great. There is a lightweight in a tub, which is like, it's real fluffy. You don't want to use that because I don't think that would work. But this is, um, I think it's a little thinner than caulking. But it's like uh, the consistency of icing, I think. Icing is what I would say. So I'm going to squeeze this, a bunch of this out. Excuse, excuse the tube there. <laughs> the video fell. Okay, and I have these things. <clears throat> They're plastic. They, they do sell uh, metal ones, but I just have the plastic ones because I've never used them before till today. But this is going to be just like buttering bread. That's all it is, just like buttering bread. So I'm going to get a bunch on here, right? And I'm going to just kind of go around above my design a little bit. Okay. And you don't want it too thick. So you can keep dragging it down. Okay. You can see how easy it is to spread. What do y'all think of this? And if you do get it too thick in some spots, you can, um, after it's dry, see this one we're going to have to let dry. The other one I did this morning is dry. Hi, Miss Ella. And this is the same piece of lace I used this morning. And all I did was um, put it in a uh, big bowl of um, water and washed it out. It washed right out. So I can use it over and over again. trying to do this quickly so I can show you guys how what it looks like. Thank you, Miss Ella. You're beautiful.
just kind of keeping the shape of the edge of this lace. And like I said, if you get it too thick, you can, um, <laughs> Miss Ella, it's relaxing. There's nothing aggravating about it. I am a very patient person, though. And no, I do not get that from my mother. <laughs> She's not a patient person. Okay. Okay, just like butter and bread, y'all. So now, we're going to, um, we're going to peel the lace off. Oh, fingers crossed. Okay. And I want to do this where y'all can see it. Okay, we're just going to pick it up. Actually, you probably won't be able to see it till I get it all the way off. I'm just going to leave that tape there because I don't want to mess up the front. But hold on. Let me show this to you. I got to set this somewhere because I got to wash that. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Give me some hearts for that. Is that beautiful? That's what I wanted my jean jacket to turn out like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? Especially on that dark blue. Okay, so this has to dry. And I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this one. I might put some twine up here and maybe a little twine bow or something at the corner. But, and even these knobby things from the drawer does not bother me at all. But, oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to set this so it can dry overnight. And let me show you the one I did this morning. And I don't think you can see it as well. Maybe in my... Yeah, you can. See the seahorse and the shells. Okay, and I, hadn't, I didn't do anything to the wood on this one. But it's all dry. It is very bumpy. Um, but I thought we would, um, paint this and then, um, dust the raised part again with some white. What do y'all think about doing that? Does that sound like a good idea? And I thought about using this color, um, Lagoon, chalk paint. Man, I think my... Well, I don't think it'll come out. Where's my sparkles? You mean Lorraine? Um, she doesn't normally watch. Uh, once She's been on a couple times, I think, but she doesn't normally watch. 
I see her at the moose on Mondays. Okay, so let's see what this is going to do. Uh, know what you put on. Laugh out loud. What I, oh, what did I use to... Uh, I don't, baby, I'm not sure when you came in. You mean, uh, what did I use to put on the lace? It was this um, spackling. It's a tube of spackling. I know it's backwards. It's by DAP. But it's not caulking, it's spackling. And I'll post a picture of this on, um, on my page. So you can see it the right way. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna sloppily paint this. And then I'll touch it up. I'll touch it up um, after. I was so anxious to uh, try it out to see if it would work that I probably should have painted the board first. So, um, y'all keep your eyes out for some pretty lace or if you have some lace curtains, tablecloths. You can buy lace uh, by the yard at like at wherever they sell material. Okay, so that's that. And what I'm gonna, does the chalk paint mess with the spackling? Not if it's completely dry. I mean, I had a couple little tiny. No, I had a, I saw a couple little pieces, you know, move when I was brushing it. But no, it did. Um, it did pretty good. See, now it looks crappy. Now it looks. Um, you can't really tell how pretty it is, but. My trusty shaving cream brush that my buddy Ray gave me. And some white chalk paint. And this does need to be dry. And I'm hoping this works, Anna. If I lightly touch the raised area, I think it'll work. Oops. I didn't bring my hair dryer out here. Um, no, it doesn't really look like it messed with the caulking at all. I mean the spackling at all. Anna, did you see the dark blue one that I just put the spackling on it?
If you didn't, well, I'll show it again anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get a paper towel. A paper towel here. So I can uh, dab my... Just going to dab my... This is the best thing. You can use uh, big makeup brushes too. So I'm going to dab that off. And let's see here. I think it needs to be drier. Okay, let, let's see if y'all can see it in the, um, yeah, see, I should have painted it first, I think, I can't really tell what y'all can see, but, and I should have let that lagoon dry, completely dry. But I can always paint over it again and do it again and let it completely dry before I... So pretty. Pretty, pretty. I am excited. So excited about that one. What a difference. I think the darker the color, the better. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, well, this I'm going to have to fix. I'll see what it looks like in the morning. Um, this detail is much better. But, what did y'all think? I told you I was going to use that lace. Let me show you these... Um, let me show you this, um, these shirts we did that did not, the only thing that turned out good was the black one, was the black one. I got them right here. Let me set these aside. Okay, so we did the jean jacket with the, um, with that piece of lace and I can see a starfish right here but it is way too blotchy and you can't really define anything I mean I still like the look of the bleach on the jacket I'm still gonna wear it but um, where'd that starfish go there it is right there so that did not turn out that great, but I'm still going to wear it. I like the bleach look. Now, we used, uh, I put shells on this white shirt and used the food coloring and water. Do y'all remember that? Well, let me tell you what. I washed it. And every bit of the food coloring came off of that white shirt. Can you believe that? I cannot believe, I was blown away. 
So food coloring will wash out of your clothes. It just won't wash off your skin. So that's that one. The red one, I'm going to say it was because of the slinky, the slinky material. Yeah, see the lace is, is too tight knit. Well, this piece of lace is too, too dense. So uh, the bleach did not define any of the shapes. But this is all I got on this slinky red shirt. Just some blotches. <laughs> Was not happy. But now this, with the doilies, this, this did turn out really good. That turned out really good. And I love that copper color it turned. But this is pretty cool. So I would stay sit, stick with black cotton and bleach. Yeah, these were just uh, doilies I got at thrift stores. Now those work good because they got the bigger holes all throughout. So that's that. And um, well, that's my exciting evening. That's my exciting evening. <laughs> thank you for, um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I always do. And y'all, um, share the love if you, if you would like to. I appreciate that. And I'm thinking Saturday morning I might do a video. I bought some, um, stuff at Ace Hardware this morning and I'm kind of excited to show y'all that too. Okay. Well, thank you. Y'all have a great night and I love all y'all. Okay. I'll see you Saturday morning probably. Good night.